Hi! In today's lesson, we will talk about the correlation and regression. Have you ever wondered what is their connection with each other? If you want to know it and be enlightened, keep on watching and lend your ears to this lesson. One day, a class had a quiz about the correlation and regression. The teacher announced the scores. Half of the class had high scores, while the other half did not pass the quiz. A grade conscious kid named Jayla is really worried about her score, so she decided to go to the library to borrow a book about the topic to understand it well. She sat down and contemplated before proceeding to read and study about the correlation and regression. The correlation and regression are the most often used approaches for examining the relationship between two quantitative variables. The strength of a linear link between two variables is measured by correlation, whereas regression describes the relationship as an equation. Prior to regression analysis, correlation is performed. It all starts with the concept of the basic correlation coefficient, which expresses the degree of linearity between two variables. To determine whether there is a linear relationship between the two variables, a scatter plot should be drawn. For both variables, the correlation coefficient is not only unaffected by changes in unit of measurement, but it is also unaffected by changes in origin. The correlation coefficient's value is always between negative 1 and positive 1. It increases to negative 1 or positive 1 depending on whether the relationship is negative or positive as the scatter points get closer to the straight line. The least squares approach can be used to find the straight line relationship between the two variables. The square of the simple correlation coefficient can be used to determine the linear regression goodness of fit. The simple linear regression model is a subset of the multiple linear regression model. We have more than two independent variables in a multiple linear regression model. The coefficient of determination, which is the square of the multiple correlation coefficient, it is used to determine the quality of fit in this scenario. When we say correlation analysis, it is used to determine the strength of a connection between two continuous variables, for example, between an independent and a dependent variable, or between two independent variables. We estimate a sample correlation coefficient, specifically the person product moment correlation coefficient in correlation analysis. The sample correlation coefficient, abbreviated as R, is a measure of how well two variables are related spans from negative 1 to positive 1 and expresses the strength and direction of the linear relationship between the two variables. The direction of the correlation is indicated by the sign of the correlation coefficient. The correlation coefficient's value reflects the strength of the link. When we talk about regression analysis, it is a related method for determining the connection between one or more risk factors or confounding variables and an outcome variable. The outcome variable is also called the response or dependent variable and the risk factors and confounders are called the predictors or explanatory or independent variables. In regression analysis, the dependent variable is denoted Y and the independent variables are denoted by x. Now, let's talk about the differences between correlation and regression. Correlation measures the degree of relationship between two variables, while regression allows us to see how one variable affects another or what changes it causes to the other. Correlation find numerical value expressing the relationship between variables. Regression estimates values of random variables on the basis of the values of a fixed variable. Next, correlation doesn't capture casualty but the degree of interrelation between the two variables. Regression is based on the casualty it shows no degree of connection but cause and effect. A property of correlation between x and y is the same between y and x, 
which you can see in the formula that is symmetrical. Regression x and y and y and x can have a different result of analysis. These two methods have a different graphical representation. Correlation is a single statistic or data point. Whereas, regression is the entire equation with all of the data points that are represented with a line. It is evident in the discussion that there is a huge difference between the two mathematical concepts. Correlation and regression can be used to describe the nature of the relationship and strength of two continuous quantitative variables. Here is the formula of correlation, where n is the number of pairs of scores, summation of x, y is the sum of the product of the paired scores, summation of x naman is the x scores, summation of y is the y scores, summation of x squared is the sum of the squared x scores, summation of y squared is the sum of squared y scores. After solving it, here is the interpretation of the result. If your R is positive negative 1.0, that is a perfect positive negative correlation. If it is negative 0.80 to 0.99, it is a very strong positive negative correlation. If it is positive negative 0.60 to 0.79, it is a strong positive negative correlation. If it is positive negative 0.40 to 0.59, it is a moderate positive negative correlation. If it is positive negative 0.20 to 0.39, it is a weak positive negative correlation. If it is negative 0, it is no correlation at all. And here is the formula of regression. The formula for regression line is y is equals to a plus b times x, wherein y is the dependent variable, a is the y-intercept, b is the slope of the line or called the regression, and x is the independent variable. To solve the slope or the b, we're going to use the formula sum of square of x, y over the sum of square of x, and for y-intercept, or a that is mean of y minus b times the mean of x in order to solve the sum of square of x y that is the summation of x y minus the quantity of summation of x times the quantity of summation of y over n to solve the sum of square that is the summation of x squared minus the quantity of summation of x squared over n Take note to round the values of A and B to 3 decimal places. So now, let's get to the first example of correlation. A professor wants to see how strong the relationship is between the reliability of 20 item tests on 10 students for 2 subjects. The data obtained from the sample follow. And now, we will use this table. This column is our X or subject A test scores and over it, we will get the summation, which is 95. And then, the next column is our Y or subject B test scores. Just like X, we will get the summation of it, that is 136. The next is XY, or the product of X and Y. So we'll just multiply X to Y, just like A times 12 is equal to 96. And then just follow it for the succeeding rows. We can also use our scientific calculator here. So, the overall summation of X and Y is 1,351. Next is x squared. Here, we just need to multiply the value of x by itself. So, 8 times 8 is equal to 64. And of course, continue doing it for the succeeding rows. And then, we'll get the summation of x squared, that is 1001. And then, we have the y squared. Here, we'll just multiply the y by itself again. So, 12 times 12 is equal to 144. Same with the succeeding rows. We will just multiply them by itself. And of course, don't forget to get the summation of y squared that is 1950. So what we need to solve using our formula is the summation of x that is 95, summation of y that is 136, summation of xy that is 1351, summation of x squared that is 1001, summation of y squared that is 1950, and lastly our n which is how many students we have which is 10. 
So after getting all the summation of our data values, we'll be using this correlation formula to find the relation of 20 item tests on 10 students for two subjects. So we'll just substitute them to their own places. So n is 10 times summation of x, y, which is 1,351, minus summation of x, that is 95, times summation of y, that is 136, all over the square root of n, that is 10, times summation of x squared, which is 1,001, minus summation of x, that is 95 squared, and then n, which is 10 again, times summation of y squared, that is 950, minus the summation of y, which is the 136 squared. So now, we will use the scientific calculator and perform this. 10 times 1,351 minus 95 times 136. The answer is 590. And then, in the denominator, we'll get first the answer of the first bracket. 10 times 1,001 minus 95 squared. The answer is 985. Then, the second bracket. 10 times 1,950 minus 136 squared. The answer is 1,004. Please do make sure that all the numbers that you type in scientific calculator is right so we could avoid wrong answer. Now, we'll just multiply the two denominator, 985 times 1004 equal to 988,940. And then, we'll divide now 590 over the square root of 988,940. And the answer is 0.59. You're probably asking yourself right now, can I really apply this correlation in my real life? The answer is yes. Actually, there is a lot of examples and application of correlation that can be applied in a real life. For positive correlation, I won't go far. One great example is us, students, especially with our situation right now. The more we spend time on studying, the higher the grades we can receive. As for the negative correlation, the more absences we make in our class, the lesser the knowledge we can acquire. And as you can see, there is a correlation in it as well and it can be seen in our everyday life. As for the regression, can it, can it be applied in real life as well? Of course, regression can be applied as well in real life, especially in medical fields. For example is that medical researchers use regression to understand the relationship between drug dosage and blood pressure of the patients in a way that they will be able to know if they will have to decrease or they will have to increase the dosage of the drug depending on the blood pressure of the patient. It may not be very clear or obvious but yes, correlation is being applied in our everyday life and actually you yourself, you might be doing something that correlation is involved but you're not aware that you're already doing it. <laughs>